Good morrow, dear friends! I am Daisy Victoria. Today I will be making a very standard medieval tunic in white linen so that I may use it as an undergarment for my medieval gowns. It also looks really nice as a belted dress. In fact, this is a historical construction method which can be used for outerwear tunics as well. White linen undergarments were worn throughout the Middle Ages. These are a couple of examples taken from 15th century sources. Très riche heirs of Duc de Berry and a Roman de la Rose manuscript. I've already cut out my pieces. I have a PDF tutorial available to help you measure and cut out your pattern pieces. I will link it in the description so you may access that resource as well. Not pictured, I actually started by pre-washing my fabric. Highly recommended if you don't want your garment to shrink. I started sewing by attaching the shoulder seams together. Next, I attach the gores to the lower portion of the body pieces. I am attaching the bias cut edge of each gore to the straight grain of the body in order to minimize stretching of the bias edge over time. I am also being very particular about making sure each gore is placed evenly. Each gore is a triangle cut with a curved lower edge. The curve was created by measuring an equal distance from the upper point of the triangle to each point along the lower edge. There's a gore attached to each side of the front and back body pieces. The body pieces themselves are large rectangles with a neckline cut out. Once I sewed those on, I began working on the sleeves. First, I attached the sleeve gussets to the upper edge of each sleeve. The sleeves can be cut as proper rectangles. I've chosen to taper them as they approach the wrist to achieve the look found in my references. Next, I sewed the adjacent edge of each gusset along with the sleeve seam itself. The sleeve gussets are rectangles similar to what I used in my chemise or shift tutorial. With those sewn, I attach the sleeves to the body pieces, matching the shoulders to the center of each sleeve. Then I sewed the side seams of the body. Awesome! Trying it on and it fits great! I really like it. Now it just needs some hemming. I often sew my undergarment hems by machine on historical garments since no one is going to see them anyway. However, on this one, I want the neckline and sleeve hems to be visible with some garments, so I knew that I wanted to hem those by hand. And I figured I may as well just do them all by hand, so I did the bottom hem that way too. Hemming the keyhole neckline is the trickiest part, but doing it by hand and being kind to both yourself and the fabric tends to result in a very nice finish.
I'm very pleased with the result. It's so comfortable. I do have another method for making an underdress for late medieval kirtles, which is included in my medieval kirtle tutorial. The method in this video is also found among earlier period garments, and I think it's really versatile. I'm looking forward to wearing this under the eyes dress displayed behind me. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon. I also have additional PDF tutorials to help you create your dream costumes, and you can find me on the social medias. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.